All right, let's talk about uh, Prop 8. We can't do one week without something gay. And this one I think is actually kind of interesting. Uh, so Charles Cooper, who was one of the lawyers that was uh, for Prop 8, meaning he was against marriage equality, uh, and fought it at the Supreme Court. Well, you're not going to believe this. He has flip-flopped, and uh, yeah, he's now for gay marriage. Why? Well, his stepdaughter, lesbian, wants to get married. Incredible how this works out. Uh, we've got a quote from uh, General Cooper. My views evolve on issues of this kind the same way as other people's do, and how I view this down the road may not be the way I view it now or how I viewed it 10 years ago. That's attorney Charles Cooper. All right, so basically that seems good to me. He's trying to get on the right side of history, except the Supreme Court case wasn't that long ago. And is it a little disingenuous? Like now it affected you personally, so you're gonna get on the right side. Like this is kind of, in a weird way, I'm happy that it happened, but it kind of seems like a dick move. Actually, <laughs> we can still judge him, right? Yeah, we can, can still, we like, judge him? yeah, we can totally judge him. Yeah. Now so that are you okay with this? Are you okay? No, with I'm this? fine with it. I mean, good for him, but like, good for him? Question mark. Yeah. Like, good for you that it personally affected you, and now you're deciding that you have to not be an asshole. Yeah. Can you guys at BuzzFeed do some sort of one of those? What do you call them? The freaking tests. The you know quizzes. The quizzes. Yeah. The, can you do one of the quizzes on like how you evolved on gay marriage with all your crazy? Can you make that? I'm gonna go do that right now. Please, after the show, <laughs> make that happen. Really? I mean, I, look, it's good he did it. But like, it's literally about, what is it, about a year later or something, maybe, it's, oh no, it's less than a year later, it's like nine months later, and it seems like, well, it affected you personally, so now you're gonna come on board, like? It, just, I, it blows my mind that there are still people in this country who don't see that this war has been lost yeah. by them. Like, bigots have lost this war, it's just going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's not, there's no going back now. And to, it's, it's the equivalent of being a segregationist in 1982. Like, it's, you, it, the war's done. Right. And so the fact, what's more shocking to me is that there are, there are so many people who haven't evolved their stance on gay. So should we graciously accept this guy? Should we be like, yeah, sure, you fought, us, you fought against us less than a year ago <laughs> in the Supreme Court, but you found out you have a lesbian stepdaughter. Welcome I aboard. I mean, I think. Because we're I, so I, accepting, I think right? in any, well, I, we are accepting, but I also think it's a great feather in the cap of the cause that if even this guy, I mean, this is this is Darth Vader like hanging out with the Ewoks. Like it's <laughs> he, it, it's impossible to be touched by this issue personally and not come to the right conclusion. If Dick Cheney, who I'm pretty sure is an evil robot sent from the future, can be for gay marriage because his daughter is, then really. It's the least you can ask of somebody. Right. It's actually the least you can ask. So is this just proof that the number one thing the gay people can do is come out? Because look, it happened with Dick Cheney when his daughter came out. He came around. This guy's daughter came out. We had that, uh, what is it, Rob Porter, I think, senator. Yeah. His, yeah. his son came out. So, so it's basically like if you come out, you can pretty much affect the, uh, the convictions that's of a the good, politician. That's a good spin to put on it, yeah. yeah. That's a positive way of thinking about it. Yeah. Instead of being like, should we be gracious? Which, no, we, we, yes, we should be gracious. But should we just accept, should the gay community just accept all these people, no matter what they've done in their past, should the second you change, should you be uh, exonerated of what you're Well, doing? I don't think he should be like marching in the pride parade, but we can like, we can hate him, we can accept that he evolved on the issue. Right. Without making him like a you know a gay icon. Yeah. I don't know if he wants to be a gay icon, but I think we should maybe not make him one. <laughs> He'd have to morph into an old lady probably. To, he should wear a wig. A we, he, yeah. But I yeah. think no, no. Um, do you think it matters even if he's not doing this necessarily because of his daughter, but just for selling a book? Because I think that's also part of it. Like, how do you sell your book? Well, I was the Prop 8 lawyer who fought against gay marriage, and now I'm for it. Let's sell a book. You know, like yeah. there's some element. But should we even take that and be like, I think, I. I think whatever gets people on the right side of this issue is a good thing. And I don't think that makes them great people, because I don't think this issue makes, being for gay marriage and saying that people who love each other should be able to get married doesn't make you a good person. That's just what, as people, we should expect of each whoa, other. Whoa, whoa, you don't want extra credit? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, I mean, I would love I, some extra credit. I was giving him extra credit this whole time. Were you giving Yeah, no, totally, for being, like, yeah, an ally. For, for being an ally. <laughs> You know, I, uh, I do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> um, does anyone evolve the other way? I, that's what this was making me think. Is there anyone that's pro-gay marriage that suddenly, have we heard that at all? I don't, because maybe I, that's went, proof of something. I went to Berkeley, which mm -hmm. is a very liberal school, yeah. but the largest group on campus are actually the college Republicans because people come who are like moderate 
and they're so freaked out by yep. the liberalism that they like backtrack and right. become these really conservative like assholes. So I feel like that could happen. Like someone gets so scared mm -hmm. about like marriage equality, they're like, I'm gonna just I'm gonna like double down and become like super anti after thinking this was okay. Yeah, isn't that a little bit of like the Chick Fil A theory? Like the more you fought, the more the gays fought Chick Fil A, the more chicken they sold. Like a little sure. bit of that, or the more that they fought Duck Dynasty, suddenly the ratings were huge. Now I guess they're not well, so great Well, it's like anymore. Paula Deen, still, people rally behind Paula Deen every time she says something. Should she become more racist? Is that what happens? I think, she, I think she, she so. She actually doubled down she, on it's her It's good for her brand. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, I think when people will begin to devolve on this issue, to de-evolve on this issue, when uh, gay divorce starts, yeah. starts popping up, you'll see a lot of gay people who will be like, you know, like, I don't know if it was right for me. <laughs> you know, gay marriage in theory is great, but yeah. I want to go back to the single life. I do have a friend right now that's a lesbian in the middle of a divorce, and I feel like it's very, that's very I edgy. Think don't you think that's edgy of me to have... divorce first, though. Have you noticed they're that? They're getting divorced first. Lesbians are getting divorced first. They get married first, too. They, they got know, married first, they're getting divorced they, first. Yeah, there's some U-Haul joke we're supposed to I, make, Yeah, right? I, I walked up to the edge of it and then turned around. Let it go. We're, we're, he's, we're, not, he's a good ally, he's not gonna make that joke. Yeah. <laughs>